Welcome, in front of me is a Lenovo Tab E7 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now as you can see the phone in front of me is locked and I could unlock it either using a you know, verification pattern or using the Google account. And assuming we don't know either of those, what we will want to do is go back to the first page. There we go. And from here, change the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So scroll all the way down. Basically anything from here will work. Now we can go all the way up to, I believe right somewhere here. So Turkish and basically anything below should work. So me and continue. So once you select that language, you wanna basically go to the setup again. Uh, so just click on whatever I'm clicking on whatever side, uh, assuming you don't know what you're actually clicking on. So I'm gonna set it up as new. And there we go. So there is again the verif verification pattern. Stop on use Google account. Tap on a field. And once it brings up keyboard, you should see a globe icon right here. So you want to hold that globe icon. This will bring up the language settings. And from here, we can change it back to QWERTY. So our keyboard changes. Then hold the globe icon once more and choose the language settings. Oops. Just the button right here. And then let's select our keyboard, which is the button at the bottom. And choose any kind of language without an arrow. Now that sometimes happens uh, where it just kind of backtracks. Let's just get back to it again the same way. Globe, settings, add keyboard, and let's add the first one as an example. Or oh, I added the second one. So once you select one of them, click on the add button right over here. And you can see that now we have three different ones. So once that is selected, go back to the first page again. Oops. Then go back to our desired language, which for me it's going to be English. And again, let's get back to where we just were. Again, let's stop on a field. Hold the globe icon, language settings, add keyboard. And this time around, you're looking for a keyboard with an arrow. So as you can see, there is Albanian. So let's select it, tap on that three dots and go to help and feedback. From here and describe your issue, you wanna type in, uh, use Morse code or uh, if you just type in MO, it brings it up as a suggested. As you can see, use Morse code. Select it. And from here, we want to tap on the share button and it will give you a bunch of options. So what we're looking for is Google Go. So click on it. This will, oh, from here, I'm just gonna use without Google account. There we go and it will load it. Go, I guess, with English. Click on finish and give it a second for it to load. So from here, we want to select um, let's see. Okay, so click on the three or on the square icon right here, then go to all apps. And from here, I'm kind of reading as I go. Um, there we go. So think that we just want to access settings instead of the apps right there. So from here, uh, as you've seen, I just click on the bars right over here and then go into the privacy policy right over here. Give it a sec. Mm 
Okay, there we go. So, as you've seen, you need to press this weird icon right over here and then go to open in browser and then accept and continue. Next. No thanks, we don't want to sign in. And there we go, we are finally in the web browser. Now this is basically where we wanted to be all along. But in here it was a little bit harder to pull off. So uh, from here, I just tap on the search bar and navigate to hardreset.info. And let's stop on the three bars right over here and go to the download category. Okay, so from the download category, I want to tap on the search bar and simply search for Android 8. There we go, and let's search. There should only be one pop-up right here, as you can see, so FRP bypass. Let's just click on the download. Then again, scroll down and click on the download once more. Continue, allow, and download. So from here, it will start downloading. Uh, once it's finished, we will have this pop-up. So let's click on open. And before we can actually install it, we'll need to go into the settings and select allow from this source. So check this on, go back, and now we can install it. Now, once it's done installing, you want to open it up and this looks a little bit weird. Let me see if I flip it over. Will it look better? It doesn't flip over. So this is not really well visible right now. I don't think this app was designed for such a weird aspect ratio, but these are two different buttons. So we have uh, bypass FRP and then Google account manager APK install. So we're going to start off with uh, the button on this side. And we're gonna, once you tap on it, you wanna choose that you want to install it for version 6.0. And again, let's go into the settings, allow from this source, go back and install. From here, click on done, and then choose the other button. And from here, select browser sign in. Once you see this page right here, click on the three dots and go to browser sign in. Just confirm that. This will open up the Google login page. There we go. And from here, simply log in with your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create it. Even though you could do it from here, I would advise you to use your computer or something else to create that account. Now, you can also use an existing one. It completely doesn't matter. It's, it's a normal Google login page here. So I'm gonna use my own right here. Okay, and I'm gonna put in a password for it. And there we go, once I log in, it will then go back to the application once it's actually signed in. So from here, let's hold the power key, select restart, and wait for the device to boot back up. So from here, again, let's progress through the setup of the phone. And you should see this page right over here. So this is previously where we would need to confirm our previous account with the pattern or Google account. And now it changed into the account added and provides me with the account that I have added right before I rebooted the device. So let's just select next. Now, before you go on basically thinking that the process is finished, I will say right now it is not yet finished. So at this moment, we want to basically skip through most of the setup right here. It doesn't really matter how we set up our device at this point uh, because we still need to basically reset it once more to remove the Google account that is well, still actually present on, the, on this device.
and as you can see we should be right now on the home screen so from here you want to go into these settings scroll down to system reset options and then select erase all data factory reset as you can see it will give you a message that when performing this will basically remove everything from the device including things like google accounts now for the google account it's provide us with the account that we have logged in with but it will also remove the one that is uh, still on the device just not showing here the one that was blocking us from actually doing the setup so once you tap on reset tablet and then erase everything uh, this will begin the process it will bring you again to the setup screen of the device but once you are on the setup uh, after the erase everything part uh, the device will be fully unlocked so you won't have to do any kind of bypassing or anything you can just simply skip wi-fi connection skip logging in do whatever you want the device will be fully unlocked now just due to the time uh, i'm just not going to go through it at least not on a video uh, because all you need to do is basically tap on erase everything and then finish up the setup and you're done so it's kind of redundant this is majority of the work as it's supposed to be done so that is how you would bypass your uh well, the google verification on this device and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching